there we are. <clears throat> While I waited for you, you had to wait for me. <sighs> I'm just gonna give it a few minutes. This will only be my second live, and I'm gonna move that Oop, out the way. And I am getting ready to show you, I'm getting comfortable on my floor because I just didn't feel like being on the table. And I'm going to give it a few minutes and it's going to be really, 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 really warm today. Oh my gosh. So it's supposed to be in the 90s, but I work, so I'm okay with that. And I went to three stores. I was actually gone for like nine hours, but I spent some time with my son and grand dog. So, and I'm just waiting for a few people to join so that we can get on with this thrift haul. There's a couple bolos in here. There's also some things that aren't clothing because I've told you before that I'm going to be branching out and reselling um, some other things besides clothing, trying to, um, I don't know, enhance my niche and get it better. Hey, hey, how you doing there? Um, hey guys, thanks for joining. Hey, if you don't know, I am a reseller and I, um, right now, I feel like I resell full time, but I resell part time. I have a full time job, but I'm hoping to retire in the near future. And around me is the thrift hall from yesterday, three stores, seven hours. And it wasn't the best of days, you know, um, normally I leave savers spending close to five, six hundred dollars. And yesterday was, I think, um, close to, oh, it was around three, three twenty. There just, it wasn't there. It happens, you know. And thank God I have like a little bit of a death pile around me so that if anything would happen that I couldn't get to a store or do something, then, um, yeah, then it would be beneficial. <laughs> I would have a lot of stuff. And so that's kind of what happened. Um, and there's going to be days like that. And so because of that, I went to um, two other stores. One store in particular, I rarely find anything. And if I do, the prices are insane, like the pair of Lululemon shorts that I found for, I think were $33 used Lululemon shorts. They were cute. Um, but at Goodwill for $33. I don't get that at all. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for the hearts and the love. I appreciate it so much. So I'm gonna get started because there are a few of you here. Um, I don't know where to start. I guess I'm just gonna start, I'll start easy. This, I, I don't know if you guys know, um, this brand, Miss Elaine, I kind of stumbled across this. I had accidentally picked something up last year and it sold like that. I don't know what makes this brand so popular. Um, to me, it's very um, grandma-ish, you know? But it, this is seersucker and it's really comfortable. I would call this a duster or a robe and this thing will sell like really fast. I paid everything I got at Savers I got for 30% off and I think this one was like the six dollars and this will easily resell for $24.25 I, I don't know you know what we we've been doing these um, learn about the brands and we did um, Jamie Sadock and we also did what was the other one um, I'm gonna do Missy Lane I'm gonna find out what makes this brand so popular. It's just fun to know. This is a bolo I did not know about. Monroe and Maine. I comped this jacket out and I was very, very surprised. It's kind of cute. Got this little like Aztec design on it. Um, you know, this jacket comped out at about $33, $34. I paid about eight. It's a large size, it's a 1X. Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens, you know? All right, well you know the girls. Every time I go, I wanna find my girls. I wanna find Eileen Fisher, I wanna find my Lily, and I wanna find my Lafayette. 
I did not find Lafayette yesterday and I was looking hard. And a new brand that I've added into my top tier is um, Acris Punto. And we're gonna talk about that brand. It's, um, it sounds like that. And it's a very, very high end, but you know our girl. Lily, I like these. They have like the little scalloped. I got two pair. I did not get these at Savers. I got this at St. Vincent's for um, about $5.45 each. Lily does not sell that well. Do you guys ever get those brands that um, you just can't not, can't not, can't stop buying even though you know they don't sell? Am I the only one, you know, that does that? I don't know. Um, it's kind of... Um, I don't know, Lily's one of them. Peter Millar, I'm starting to slowly give up my foot joy <laughs> um, because they're just not selling like they used to. And that happens, things go in and out of the market all the time. Um, another Lily, these are just very plain black leggings. What else, what else? Oh, this is the brand. This is what we talked about last week, EP. Um, a very, very top brand I did not know for tennis and golf. And this is a pair of sport. This is a sport. It's very nice. I love, love the material. Oh, how much did I pay for this? Let's see. Um, I, let me see. About $5.20 for this. Y'all are making me do my math this morning. Um, Beta Brand, these are just cute little capris. I like picking up Beta Brand, very, very popular. I hope to find it in my size one day soon. Vintage, what is vintage? What are you saying, Cruz and Anna? Are you talking about the Elaine? <laughs> I don't know. Mavi Jeans, these are straight leg. I told you guys I'm gonna start getting away from the skinny fit. I really kind of think that they are going out of um, out of style and the wide leg are definitely in. I want to know what vintage LOL means. AG, okay. More of a straight leg too, again. I'm gonna run out of a pile. I have not found this brand in so long. And I found these yesterday, and even though they were smaller, they were just kind of different. They're leggings. They have like a um, like a shiny, like a shininess to them. They are not leather, although they kind of want to feel like that. Ah, yes, another bolo. I did not know. Sarah Campbell. Um, her shirts, not so much. Pants and dresses, yes. And these are cute. These are just a white or off-white ivory polyester. And I got these for 30% off of $8.99. I'm going to make you all do the math. How about that? <laughs> um, the next few. Okay, another brand. Um, did you guys ever, like, like I said earlier, I just sometimes can't stop buying a brand and I don't know why. <laughs> Athleta is one of them. It still does sell for me. And these are kind of different. These are, and joggers. Joggers sell real well. And these are joggers. They are linen. They are a smaller size. But I got these actually at my Goodwill for $4.88. Rare, 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 rare for my Goodwill to have them. And then this pair. I kind of just like these because they were super. Oh my gosh. And again, they are the joggers. Very, these ones are super lightweight, very comfortable. Oh, she's, please stop buying that. <laughs> and these are more of like a, a wider leg kind of fit. And again, with the beta brand, but I love this color. I love this color anyway, this olive drab. I really, really like it. That was the ladies' pants. Now this I picked up, I don't know. It's a black label, Ralph Lauren. 
and it's just a cute little wrap tie dress, something nice for the summer. If I didn't get it for like $2.50, I probably would not have picked it up. But because it was just that price, and Ralph Lauren still does sell, just not like it used to. This, St. John. I still pick up St. John too. St. John Sport. This I happen just to um, come across. And this label, the green, it wasn't even, what was the color of the day? White. And so this had been passed up a few times. And when that happens, I always kind of like, like really look at something and I'm like, huh, why? Why was it passed up? Is there a hole in it? Is there something wrong? And I didn't see anything wrong with this. And I got it for about $4.20. And you all know that St. John will sell for that. Ah, oh, one of my girls, Eileen Fisher, in this beautiful fuchsia color. It's like a tunic. And I got this for and again, a blue. You know, sometimes when I go into savers, I find the color and I go like it was white or gray or whatever color that tag is. And I go in and I'm like, I'm just going to look at that. But then I would have missed this. I would have missed this. And there's probably a few other ones in here. You know, things get missed all the time. And especially when you deal in those bigger stores like savers, which is just massive. Things are going to get missed all the time. Things are going to get returned and put back on. Okay, now this. I would not have passed on this. This is Athleta. Athleta, Athleta, I don't know. But it would, it's like a cute little jersey, long sleeves. Got the little thummy holes in them. I like those. So I picked that up. Tommy Bahama, not everything, but women's, this cute white summery shirt, hello, yes. And this, I've never seen this before. This is also Athleta, and it's unique. Now I think in all these brands that are kind of defunct right now, Peter Millar, Foot Joy, um, Eileen, not Eileen Fisher, um, Athleta, trying to think what else um, when you pick up items that have like really color to them or a pattern that's that's what you want those <laughs> those sell <clears throat> the pile just keeps getting bigger and this also Tommy Bahama it's just like a little cardigan you can wrap this around the back is a little bit more sheer how much should I get this for I try to stay under a third amount. So this was $5.49. <clears throat> Again, blue tag. I don't know when blues went out, but Miss Look, not Miss Look, Miss Look. This is the moneymaker right here. I love this blush color. It's just a shell or a tank. My girl Lily. <laughs> See what I'm saying today? Yesterday was not the best of days. I didn't really find any like, like oh, you know, like your your breath goes away when you find it. Um, another brand that I really really like to pick up really sells for me soft surroundings. But again, with this brand, it has to be something kind of eclectic or colorful. Soft surroundings does some really. Um, fun colors and um, beadwork a lot of times that you have to really really watch the beadwork because a lot of times it will um, be falling apart or missing I like the little sleeves on this why can't things be in my size why and other soft surroundings somebody was clearing out their soft surroundings closet because I got another one Again, Eileen Fisher. This one was at um, St. Vincent's. It's cute. It's almost like a little crop top, I think. <clears throat> okay, and this is another brand. I don't know a lot about it, 
but it sells really fast for me at the right price, about $21. Um, Real Legends. Okay, it's fishing gear, obviously, R-E-E-L, Real Legends. Um, but it just sells. And so I found the men's, and then I found this women's in a larger size. So I picked them up. I'm not even going to show you this. All right, I'll show you. <laughs> Lily. But it was so cute. I did kind of pay up for this a little bit. This was actually on the return rack. So I got, I paid $9 for this. But it was just so cute. Eyelid lace, is that what they call that? All right, guys. On to my men's. Men's was not that good. Um, definitely not as many men's as there was um, women's. And that's usually the reverse for me. And I usually find a ton more jeans. I just, it wasn't there, you know, and you can't make it appear. So Peter Millar, and you just keep going. And when you go back, you know, the next time you're gonna be spending a lot of money. So this Peter Millar was um, $7, right around there. It's a bigger size, so I picked it up. Okay, y'all know this brand. This, it, it feels brand new, like it has never been worn. Cool, cool, cool. Another bolo for me, I know this sells because I accidentally bought a suit one time um, because of the lining, and the lining was very similar to this shirt, and it was very popular. People bought it, so it's called Paisley and Gray. That's like another bolo that's out there. It's cute. Long sleeve. This is a men's shirt. I didn't even look. Does it have a flip cup? It does not. But stuff like this really sells. Um, just the colors and everything. Boy, if you heard all that noise in the background, that was my air conditioning. So these were linen. These were a larger size. Tommy Bahamas. Flat fronts men's pants. I'm running out of room, folks. All right, another brand. Boy, I just was not hitting the brands. This is Vineyard Vines. Um, I picked it up only because it was $5. Just a normal pair of khaki pants. Little chinos. Okay, another brand. <laughs> it's like another brand and another brand. I usually have so many better brands to show you guys, but um, you know, there's a couple, there's a couple things in here yet to come. Bonobos, which uh, is surf up in here. I was supposed to tell him when I went live. He said, I love the way he says this. It's bonobos, I think. Am I? Yes. But the way he says it, it's um, it's cute. These are actually dress pants. I have never seen dress pants in bonobos. Um, their wool will blend. And so we're going to see how they do. Okay, and another brand you guys say don't doesn't sell. But for me, 5.11s, if they are in decent condition, they sell real well for me. So I picked those up. Another Vineyard Vines, but look at the pattern. I like the pattern. Bread and butter, you're right. It is, 580, it, it really is. And it really kind of was that kind of a day for me. It was just bread and butter. Um, and that's okay. You're, you're gonna have days like that. And then you're gonna have other days that like take your breath away and you're like, I can't believe I found this. <laughs> okay, these are Tommy Bahama, but again, I love the pattern. They're larger size. Foot joy, I mentioned this. <laughs> But come on, who doesn't need a pair of just classic foot joys in gray or platinum, whatever we're gonna call it. Oh, yes, and finally, the last piece of clothing for Brothers, but they're shorts and they're a larger size. So that is the clothing. Now I wanna show you some of the things that I've branched off into without this pile of clothing kind of falling down around me. Um, the other day, I have a store, a new store um, called The Mission by me, and their clothing just is, it's not even worth my time. 
Um, so I go to their hardware section and I'm learning and branching out into hardware. And so I found these and I com I'm comping out. My phone is out in my hand all the time. Um, just like when you see resellers, new resellers in the clothing aisle and they um, you know, have their phone out all the time. That's me in the hard, hard goods because I want to branch out a little bit more um, and nothing wrong with that. So that's right, they do, they pay the bills and that's what I'm gonna have to start doing. Because if you guys don't know, I still work full time, but I am looking into retirement and this is going to supplement me because I don't want to, um, I don't wanna collect social security yet. I don't wanna do any of that. So I'm going to postpone all of that. And I wanna do this, number one, because I love it. I cannot tell you how much I enjoy almost all of it. Um, listing sometimes you're like, you know, I don't mind pictures. I love the thrifting part, going out and finding things. It's like a treasure hunt sometimes. And I love that part. Um, and in all things, I always told my kids this when I was, when they were being raised, a job will always become a job. It will. But if you love what you're doing, then that is the key. And I cannot wait to do this full time. I really cannot. Um, the, the part that gets me that I have to learn how to do that instead of having that regular paycheck, all the bills have to come out of what I'm doing. And I'm having a hard time mentally, you know, adjusting to that. And I think that's something true for all people who um, become self-employed or go into um, entrepreneurship, you know, is how to pay the bills. And it, and it is, it, I know, comping, that's how you learn. And it is, and I am learning new things like these. Um, these are brand new and they cost me $4. And these, I think, comped out at 25, if I'm right. Who would have known? Um, and then this. I saw this right away, and I'm like, oh, this is a, a for real. This is brand new. <laughs> and it's just like a cookie shooter. It's a cookie press and with Cookie Monster. And it's brand new. And I paid $4.00. And I think it, the resale wasn't real high on this. I can't remember. I think that it was around 15 to 18, but I still picked it up. Um, a fossil purse. I may keep this. I love fossil. It's kind of like my brand, but it might be a little bit too small for all the stuff I carry. But um, $6.99, and it's in excellent shape. It's really, really nice. The sack. I always pick up the sack. I just think they're just adorable and so do people who buy them. This was $2.50. Um, okay, seriously, why can't I find things in my size? <laughs> just fun, it is, and you know what, it is fun. And you must work too, so you know what it's like. I can't go on my lunch. But I work 12s and on my, I work two 12s on, two off, three on, three off. It's like a crazy schedule. But on my off days, like Tuesdays, I, I literally was gone for nine hours. I spent a couple hours with my son, but I was thrifting. And I only hit up three stores, but Savers, literally, I will be there for four or five hours. Easy, easy, and still not have touched everything. But these, when I saw these, I'm like, I know that fluff. I know that fluff anywhere. <laughs> Barefoot dreams. Now, they look a little bit, to me, they look dirty, but these are brand new. They have not been worn. They're size medium. But I got these for $3.51, and I didn't even comp them out. So I have no idea. Um, <laughs> No idea at all how much, but I know Barefoot Dreams sells. In fact, I also buy from estate sales. If you guys watched um, Surf's Up Live, the last one that he did, he talked about different avenues, like not always thrift stores, but there's estate sales. I think he said something about like a barn sale. I don't even know what that is. Um, estate sales, there's online um, arbitrage. There's also just arbitrage, which I don't have in my neighborhood or my around me. All the, all the um, 
what do I want to say? Resale shops are like ridiculous, so I can't shop there. Um, I love Saks. It really is nice. You're going to keep it. I get you, girl. But And that's what I was just going to say. Um, I had I just picked up an estate sale that I bought, and I bought blindly. I bought a closet because I saw a couple Pottery Barn quilts in there, and I know that those sell. And when I got the box, I was unloading it, and inside was a brand new Barefoot Dreams robe that will never be resold. In fact, it's actually washing right now. It is mine. It is my size. Yeah, I'm, I'm claiming that girl. <laughs> so I got this coach. Okay, I'm, I personally am not a fan of coach, but people out there love it. This appears to be brand new, and it was mismarked at $2.51 because my Goodwill, it, um, it prices these up like crazy. Oh yeah, that is a great price. What did I, oh yeah, like $2.50. And they're like solid. I love the way they feel. I don't know how, because it looks like they are um, knitted or crocheted. I mean, it, they're, I love them. I just, I can't have a sack. I have to have pockets and everything. Like this has a couple, but it's still too small for all the things I carry. But um, because this coach, like it didn't have the big little thing here, big little thing, the big thing here, it was just this, the girls missed it and they marked it down just a plain wallet. <clears throat> and this, I don't know, Jimmy Choo. This is brand new. I know it's a, um, it says perfumes. It's something that somebody bought, got when they bought the perfume, I'm sure, but it's still way cool. I didn't comp it out because I know the brand name and it doesn't matter because I might keep it. But I got this for like $4.74. What is left? I think, okay, this is it. So um, I don't know how these didn't get picked up, but they didn't. These are, um, I got three. They are handgun cases. This is a Ruger. This one is not marked. Oh, yeah, it is. This one is a Wolfmer, and this one is, I cannot read it, North American Arms. Um, I paid, I'm trying to think, $2.50 for each one of these, and comps on them are like in their 40s. Um, so that, that was a big find for me. I also, last week, I found um, at Savers these ultraviolet lights. Um, I bought them, both of them, for like $4.89. I just sold one for $4, $4.89. International, so we all know we love our international sales. I always feel bad for them for the amount of shipping, though. Oh, you get to fly for work. I'm jealous. Just a little bit. Oh, my daughter um, had a job where she was like all over the place. Um, and I was supposed to go on a trip with her. And my um, organization had a blackout day, which happened to be one of the days that I couldn't go. So, yeah. So now she doesn't fly at all. And I was like, darn it. Because actually, I think she flew one more time after that. And then the company just ended it. She works for a, um, she actually trains lawyers. So that's what she does and helps, um, helps train them and get them organized. And she used to work for a really huge company um, that actually hired lawyers. And it's amazing, amazing what they do. Um, it's <laughs> just crazy. Um, yeah, so that is it, guys. That was my Big Tuesday thrift haul. Um, I turned my air down so that it wouldn't go on all the time because it's loud. I do not know why it is loud up here, but it is. And now I'm sweating. But we're gonna we're going to work on this. Oh yeah, <laughs> where's that thing at? We're gonna work on this. I'm gonna understand. Um, Miss Elaine, and somebody laughed, I guess, because I called this vintage. I think this is a vintage brand. Like, this may not be vintage, but I think the brand is vintage. I think this brand's been around for a long time. That's my guess. Um, 
only because I've seen some really, really old things. So, ah, uh, thanks for saying that. I found this, the weird things you pick up. It's a ruler, but it's also, it, it does that. <laughs> 50 cents, I was like, yeah, I'll take it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but now that I have it, probably throw it in my purse or leave it on my desk. And I also have a project I have to show you. Let me see if I can move stuff around and move you guys around and show you the project. That is a cart. And what I'm doing, that's kind of like part of my death pile too, um, it was really dirty, and for some reason they didn't like Jamie because they tried to cover up her name with all this kind of duct tape and stuff. So I'm going to call the cart Jamie. Um, and instead of stuff being, because I use my living room and my dining room table, instead of me putting stuff in piles here, there, and everywhere, I'm going to use the cart. And then at night or when people are coming over, I can take the cart and put it back into one of the spare rooms and my house will not look like a warehouse anymore for clothing. Um, I had to buy new wheels for it because I have wood floors and I didn't want to ruin my wood floors. And one of the wheels keeps rubbing, so I'm gonna go buy some washers tomorrow and um, just push it out just a little bit more so that it won't do that. And I bought, I did have, you know that shelf lining paper stuff? I did buy that to, um, I was gonna put on the, um, the base of it and I was like uh, and I bought a yoga mat yesterday and for two dollars and 99 cents or something and I'm gonna cut that sucker up and I'm gonna use it as a liner on the bottom and bought some cool duct tape to put on the you can see right there to put on the handle because it was kind of a mess so that is it and I am not a hundred percent sure why my lives are not showing up on my um, my feed. Like I did one and it is showing up and I don't understand why and maybe if somebody can, um... oh, okay, aw, that, that has to be, yeah, I work in corrections. So I can understand that that is a very difficult job as well um, in, in a whole different realm. I, I see a lot of, a lot of stuff like that. Um, Good for you. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. I appreciate you. I